All right, this will complete lap number 135, so we've got 12 laps to go in the Dixie Cup 200. The green flag is out, and here we go for the shootout to determine the winner. First four cars all got green racetrack, clean racetrack in front of them. I'll tell you, the guy that we're going to have to watch is Bobby Allison, who right now is fourth. Here are the first two, Jeff Bodine and Ron Bouchard. Now, these guys have run strong all day. Jeff Bodine, the leader oh, at number 15. Jack Ingram crushes the wall. He puts the dog on the strap on his car at the turn four. Okay, that's uh, Ingram to the inside there, coming off the fourth turn right there. Allison is racing side by side with him for third position as we watch the first two go into first, the first and second turns. Bodine followed by Bouchard on the back stretch. Bobby Allison is now third. Fourth is Jack Ingram. And Bouchard looks to the inside going into turn three but can't pass. He may be setting up Jeff Bodine for a pass coming out of turn number four onto the straightaway. Let's see what happens. Bouchard right behind Jeff Bodine looking inside again, but Bodine slams the door. Bouchard is way down on the apron. Oh. But he gathered it in and held on. This will take your breath. Oh, this is great racing. It's been this way all race long. We've had 19, make that 25 lead changes in this 147 lap race. Now Bouchard again to the inside, trying to get the advantage. Bodine, though, moves oh, inside. he runs him on the apron. He's blocking him very obviously. These guys, both of them from the New England and upstate New York area, and they're going at it as if they are bitter enemies out there trying to pull off the win here at Darlington. We have trouble up in turn number two. That's Larry Pearson, who we had talked about as running so strong here today. Pearson scrapes against the wall, and Ron Bouchard moves into lead as Jeff Bodine is forced high in turn number three. Ron Bouchard has pulled away from Jeff Bodine after passing him and put about 10 car lengths between himself and Bodine. Cross, and we have a car spinning in turn four. That's number 12, Tommy Ellis. So action at both ends of the racetrack as Pearson scrapes the wall and turns one and two, and Tommy Ellis scrapes the wall and spins and turns three and four. And no but caution the, flag, the no green, caution The green flag. stays out and the racing continues. Bobby Allison has moved into second place, passing Jeff Bodine. There is Bouchard, there is Bobby Allison and Jeff Bodine, second and third. Bodine was leading just two laps ago. He now moves to the inside at the start-finish line, trying to move back into second. He does so, passing Bobby Allison. But he has got a lot of racetrack to make up between himself and the leader, Ron Bouchard. That's the greatest thing that can happen for Ron Bouchard is for Jeff Bodine and Bobby Allison to start racing each other. Now just let him pull away. That he is doing in turn number four now. Ron Bouchard, the leader. Second and third, Bodine and Bobby Allison. They're coming off of the fourth turn. Bouchard moving to the inside. A slower car is in the way of the second and third place competitors. They pass that slower car, though, easily as they move into turn number one. And it looks like that Bodine and Allison are sneaking up and closing in on the leader, Ron Bouchard. They're battling for second position down the backstretch. Allison now inside at the end of the backstretch. But Jeff Bodine holds on to second position. Those two cars running together are faster than Ron Bouchard. In the draft, they're faster. If he can just get them to race in each other, he'll be all set. Good position, and look at how much they have closed in the gap. Into turn number one, Allison to the inside, but he sees no racetrack or no place to go, and so falls back into third. We have only five laps to go. Bouchard, Bodine, and Bobby Allison on the racetrack, first, second, and third. Bouchard again opens up the distance just a little bit as Bouchard has rather Bodine and Allison battle for that second spot. They're in turn number four off of the high banks down onto the main straightaway. Ron Bouchard moving very low on the racetrack at the start finish line then moving high to set up his car going into turn number one. When he moves down Bob he's trying to get out of the so the cars can't catch any air off his car those cars behind him. He'd want to draft any off his car but right now they don't really matter they're right behind him they sure are bodine has moved in right behind ron Bouchard.
Bouchard now as Bouchard will begin to encounter some slower traffic in the next lap. Here he is off of turn number four. Bodine is right on Bouchard's back bumper now and Allison is on Bodine's back bumper. They pass a slower car going into turn number one. Bobby Allison lost a little bit of distance there as he uh, tried to pass that slower car and lost a couple of car lengths. He caught the car at exactly the wrong place going in the corner, just like Bouchard caught that slow car. Going in the corner, now Bobby gains back up on him again. Here they come off of turn number four. It is Ron Bouchard leading with Jeff Bodine second and Bobby Allison third. Here they come with two laps to go, two laps around the 1.63 mile Darlington International Raceway, ESPN's first visit to this historic racing facility, and we have seen nothing but exciting racing action this afternoon, all during this 200 mile, 147 lap race. Again, at the end of the back stretch in turn three, it is still Ron Bouchard leading. One of these three cars is going to win the race, but at this point, no one can tell which one. The white flag comes out. One more lap to go. Bouchard, Bodine, and Allison going at it for the win in the Dixie Cup 200 for NASCAR late model sportsman drivers. Out of turn number two and down the back stretch, they continue to run in the same order. If a move is going to be made, it's going to have to be done soon. Bodine decides that he might go outside but can't see any racetrack. Cannot make the pass. Here they come in turns three and four. Jeff Bodine cannot find an opportunity. He's blocked by Ron Bouchard off of turn number four. Here they come, and it's going to be Ron Bouchard winning as Jeff Bodine dug to the inside at the start-finish line and wound up just about the length of the car behind Ron Bouchard and Bobby Allison, who I think got off the accelerator coming off of the fourth turn, realizing that he couldn't pass both cars. Allison finishes in third spot. Ron Bouchard has won the Dixie Cup 200 at Darlington International Raceway in a fantastic race here this afternoon. Let's take a look at the final uh, lap of the race. Here they are crossing the start-finish line, and that is the, the interval between first and second position. So we will be back with an interview with Ron Bouchard, who has won this race from the pole position. Dick Bergman will be talking with him in just a moment. A well-deserved victory from the guy from Pittsburgh, Massachusetts, Ron Bouchard in victory lane. Here is Dick Bergman. And it's a very happy Ronnie Bouchard getting his wife Paula a peck on the nose. There's a lot of jubilation here. Fella, you had a rear view mirror full of race cars when that thing ended, didn't you? We really did. Uh, the car runs super all day. Uh, you know, we were in the right place at the right time. And uh, when Sammy got a flat tire, that really helped a bunch because he was real quick. But, you know, we got by Jeff and I run away there a little bit. And then the two of them hooked up together and they started to run me down. And I says, boy, get this thing over with. <laughs> You've played with Jeff Bodine in your rearview mirror before, though, and you've had him in front of you before, haven't you? We sure have. Uh, we've run a bunch of races back home and uh, modified races, and just thank God this one come out right. Was he blocking you toward the end of the race, or is that, that legal in what we're doing here? Well, I guess it is legal. When I tried to pass him with about 10 ago, he blocked me, so I figured I'd just return the favor. <laughs> Very happy Ronnie Bouchard here in Victory Lane, hugging a bottle of champagne. His car owners, his crew, they're all behind him. This is a very, very happy moment. They certainly needed this win. And our congratulations to Ron Bouchard and our thanks to Dick Bergren for his coverage of the pit area and to Benny Parsons, who uh, had the color commentary for us this afternoon from the booth. The Dixie Cup 200 has been brought to you by Honda Motorcycles. Honda, follow the leader. And by TR3 Auto Polish. You want tough? TR3 is tough. Take it from Mr. T. And by Skull Bandits for tobacco pleasure without lighting up. It's a pouch instead of a puff. As we look at the top ten, this is Bob Jenkins saying thanks for joining us. And again, congratulations to Ron Bouchard, winner of the Dixie Cup 200 from Darlington International Raceway. So long, everyone.